Hey, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to um, fix Freestyle Dash if you load up a theme that's not compatible with the current version of Freestyle um, and then it just doesn't allow you to go and change the theme um, maybe fonts aren't showing or whatever so if that happens, if you're using an external hard drive simply hook it up to your computer um, find the Freestyle application go to Skins find the skin that's having the issues and simply delete it. Um, next time you plug in your hard drive to your computer or your Xbox, load it up, it won't find that skin and it'll just load the default one. Um, that's one way. If you want to just leave it hooked up to your TV um, and you have FTP, it's connected to your network and everything, um, you can simply FTP in find your freestyle, find your skins, find the one that has the issue and delete it. Um, that's another way through FTP. Um, if it's on your internal hard drive, on your Xbox hard drive, um, what you could do is browse through the freestyle interface through the file manager um, if you can find that in your skin settings and then simply go through and delete it that way. If that's not an option um, what you could do is load up a USB drive and put Freestyle on that with the default theme um, plug that into your Xbox maybe if you needed to create a quick boot for it so it'll find that Freestyle and load that one um, then you can load that one use your file manager and delete the skin on your Xpro Xbox internal hard drive so basically those are the best options of how to fix it um, if you have any other issues or anything, go ahead and um, come over to our Spiffy360 forums, um, post your issues, and we'll try and help you out. Um, you can post a comment, but I don't rarely check the comments on the YouTube, um, so head over to our forums and post your issues over there. Thanks a lot.